him about it tonight. Chris? Sarah Arliss Cole was 17-year-old seaman when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. Nearly 70 years later, that date, which will always live in infamy, is still a vivid memory for the now 86-year-old. Pearl Harbor survivor and American hero, Mr. Arliss Cole. Arliss Cole received a richly deserved round of applause when he stepped to the mound at Driller's Stadium. He says he was never one to seek the limelight, but each 4th of July means fewer and fewer Pearl Harbor survivors, so he feels it's his duty to tell his story. They're beginning to want we veterans to come out and tell our stories and, and, and be a part of their events and celebrations. And tonight is going to be a big celebration. Arliss has been celebrating the recent publication of his autobiography, showing our colors at Pearl Harbor, a first-hand account through the eyes of a 17-year-old survivor. Cole was in the bowels of the USS West Virginia when the Japanese attacked. He escaped by crawling through a hole created by a torpedo that didn't explode. He was diagnosed later in life with post-traumatic stress disorder. And even seven decades later, December 7th is tough to talk about. Telling this story like this, this is where a great deal of my trauma was. A great deal of my fear. This is showing up now because our memories are coming back. But Cole says he'll no longer suppress those memories. And if anyone wants him to tell his story or throw out a first pitch, he's more than happy to oblige. That's how it will come out of you. It's what we call post-traumatic stress syndrome, but it don't hurt me because I don't mind crying. I'm a big boy, but I'll cry now and then. And go on and tell my story. Cole went on to serve throughout the duration of World War II, saw action during other famous battles, including Okinawa and Iwo Jima. Chris Wright, the News on 6 tonight.